Hello everyone, um, I'm taking this opportunity to make this video because today the public test server uh, client was released for Fallen Earth and I was basically going to share my first impressions slash um, you know what's all going on here in this video. Um, as you can, well you probably can't tell the difference but I can. Um, I only have one character on this server. Uh, it's Hushvale, and he's back at level 12. And as when originally I thought that may have been a glitch or something, I went to the FAQ and basically they take a uh, whatever character that you had on February 25th of this year and, and copied that over there. So I have a level 12 <laughs> pistol character uh, right now. And, um, so let's let's get started. Um, I need to see if I can't find a uh, a garage. I don't know where it is here in Depot because I haven't been here in a while. So I'm gonna run over to Oilville just in case. I may see one on the way. Um, <laughs> I'm on my little Fallen Earth ATV right now. It's kind of cute. Um, just a brief explanation of, of what they have actually done. Uh, changed the game in this release here in this test server. There is companion pets, like vanity pets that just kind of follow you around and, and I guess look cute. Um, also there is a dueling system to which, uh, let's say, if that was a real person, I could actually, you know, right click them and select a duel command or slash duel within targeted and we would actually be able to fight until one of us reaches one health that wouldn't actually kill us. Um, pretty cool feature. Instead of having a, you know, hey, I want to test out this new ability or find a, a system that works for me in PvP, instead of having to go to a PvP town, um, you'd be able to do that wherever you wanted to. Okay, um, fuel and feed merchants. Uh, I believe they said all in sector one here. Um, are going to offer this wasteland mutt leash which is basically the non-combat pet. I'm going to purchase one for one chip. Open my inventory under the usable tab here. I'm going to use it and see what happens. Hey look, I got a dog. Cute little mutt. He sits. Isn't that cute? Um, I think this is something that's been needed in the game for a while actually. Uh, little little companion to keep you company when you're out there you know rebuilding society and whatnot um, I read in the FAQ that there's certain slash commands that will follow along like I have the mud targeted here I'm gonna type slash stay and hit enter oh it says command not recognized um, oh I completely forgot about this this little window here <laughs> uh, yeah as you can see there's a you know, basically an info window for your pet. Stamina, health. I don't know where stamina falls into play here, but um, your pet can take damage in PvP situations. Uh, NPCs will not target and uh, hurt your pet. Uh, but I can click stay, and he'll bark at me, and and he'll stay. Good boy. And then let's see. I come all the way back out here and uh, click follow. Ooh, I whistle for him. And here he comes. Slow, but here he comes. It's a nice little feature. I'm kind of glad they put that in. Uh, let's let's find out what happens when when I mount up and, and drive away. See if he'll run after me. <laughs> if any of you have ever played World of Warcraft, you kind of remember um, hunter pets. Uh, they there was some change where they wouldn't follow you, or they yeah they they changed it to where they wouldn't follow you anymore. Um, oh no, he's slow. Why is why is he so slow? That's no point, no. He's got to be faster than that. Let's see. Let's see if I can leave him in the dust. Oh, here we go. He's running now. Still slow, though. I guess that's part of the realism that they like to encourage in Fallen Earth. But that's a cool little thing. You can, um... I know for a fact that you can, uh... It, it acts just like a mount. Uh, except, obviously, you can't mount it. Um... But if you go to the stable manager, 
talk to him, your Wasteland Mutt is, is, you know, on the list here. And you can park it, I think. Let's see. Wasteland Mutt? No, I can only destroy it. That's not good. Um... I don't know if that's a bug or whatever, but they were saying that you could park it and then you can also tow it and then activate it, just like you do mounts. Let's say you're going into PvP and you don't want somebody to just shoot your poor little doggy, um, you'd be able to park it. Um, they they may patch that in a few days or or whatever. You know, working out, still working out kinks. It is a test server, um, but I I definitely say that's a cool little feature. I'm glad they put that in. Um, hope it makes it to live and. You know, hopefully get some other pets and maybe little pet emotes, little tricks. Roll over, boy. All that kind of good stuff. Um, I don't really know what to do with him now. Um, I want him to just, like, I don't want to leave him so far behind. Oh, I told him to stay. I forgot I told him to stay. I gotta go get him. As you can see, as you approach your pet, if he's staying, the window will pop up and you can tell him to follow. Um... I'm going to actually continue on to Oilville, um, just so that I can see if I can't get somebody to duel me. Alright everybody, I am approaching Oilville right now. I am going to uh, see about if there's anyone actually in here. I'm not sure what the actual time they, they put the test server up. Um, I've been checking local for people in my county. Um, and there seems to be no one in my county. Uh, there are some people online, um, but unfortunately no one around here that I can actually duel. Um, I kind of wish that I would be able to update my character to get... Uh, my uh, Hushville is actually 40 right now, and he's in Sector 3. There are probably some more people in Sector 3. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate that we weren't able to see the dueling features. Uh, yet, at least. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more response as far as uh, maybe a different time or, or you know, a different day that I can come back and, and give another video about the dueling system. But as far as I can tell, the little combat or the non-combat pets, uh, that's a cool thing. Um, I also know that I can, with him selected, slash rename pet space. What should I call my pet? I'm gonna call him Rufus. He looks like a Rufus to me. Rename failed. I wonder if that has anything to do with being mounted. Let's try that again. Come here, Wasteland Mutt. Slash rename pet space Rufus. Nope. Although it, it does register uh, queuing rename of Wasteland Mutt to Rufus. It, it recognizes the code for some reason it's not uh, actually naming. Once again, something that will probably be be fixed and patched up. It's probably some random error in the code. Uh, you know. But, like I say, public test server. It's a good thing for MMOs these days to, to give people more of an insight as to what is actually on the horizon as opposed to logging in every day and, and hoping for patch notes. <laughs> it, especially if you're not a, a forum troll. Uh, I'm not too much of a forum guy. I'll, I'll check it occasionally and there's some good information on there a lot of times. But uh, but yeah, public test server up and running. Uh, not, not too populated as you can see. I don't know how extensive the uh, slash or the not slash who. That's the wrong game. Um, the uh, The social window for who if that's everyone online or, or what, but um that's pretty much that's pretty much what I wanted to cover except the dueling system. There's also a new feature in uh, New Gallows. Uh I think what what I was able to gather is they um removed it as a conflict town. It's now more or less like a PvE town. Um it's been overrun by the Human League and, and I think you go to there's probably some mission hub there that you can get missions and, and run them and, and gain trophies. Not sure what the trophies are for, it hadn't been explained yet, but uh, future videos will divulge more information, hopefully. Uh, I'll keep you up to date as I can. Until then, suck on that.